Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Good evening, Assalamu Alaikum, and welcome to Sports Extra. I'm your host, Ahmed Nawaz, with the latest roundup of sports tonight. It's a PSL galore. We're going to be starting things off with that. Let's take a look at our lineup. We'll start off with the seventh edition of the PSL that has concluded in spectacular fashion. Lahore Kalandas, it is, who have been crowned the champions of PSL 7 for the year 2022. What a stellar performance from the Kalandas camp. Everybody chipping in, and I think it was remarkable to see a final of this high quality and high intensity. Multan Sultans were, of course, one of the best teams of the tournament. Unfortunately, it wasn't their night, but they can keep their heads up high. They made the nation proud. I think uh, the example that has been set by Mohammed Rizwan is truly remarkable. Uh, the way he has led, the way he has muscled his troops, the spirit of cricket award to them as well for PSL. And a lot to talk about because when we talk about Multan Sultans, we know that they created history in the PSL as well, winning nine out of their ten games and then going on to beat Lahore in the first qualifier. And then in the final, I think uh, that panic button was just pressed and everybody was out of the game. And I think too much was expected from Riley Rousseau, Khustil Shah, Tim David probably, but that's not going to happen unless you've got a very solid batting lineup which can take that pressure with that amount of experience. So I think that experience probably missing when you talk about that. So all up to Rizwan and Shan Masood to give that start, that didn't happen. But at the end of the day, uh, Lahore Kalandas, they've waited seven years for this. The people of Lahore, uh, Lahore fans all around the world and the celebrations were as jubilant as they should be. And uh, they've deserved it. So I think uh, it's uh, all happiness to them. And uh, talk about the PSL many awards that were up for grabs as well, including the bowler of the tournament went to Shah Ab Khan, then the batter of the tournament, Fakhar Zaman, all rounder and fielder of the tournament went to Khushdil Shah, wicketkeeper was Mohammad Rizwan, and the emerging player of the PSL went to Zaman Khan of Lahore Kalandas. So a lot of awards that were there as well, and uh, we'll talk all about that in detail. Then we'll move on to uh, obviously after the PSL. Uh, one note has ended high and then there's another high starting as well. It's Australia's tour to Pakistan where the Australian team has arrived in Pakistan. It's a tour happening uh, that is going to make history. First test is going to start on Friday. That is, of course, the 4th of March. Action at the Rawalpindi Cricket Stadium. Second test match we'll see in Karachi. Third test match in Lahore. And then the Australian side will come back to Rawalpindi for the limited over series, which includes one internationals and a T20 international as well. So the squad has arrived in full strength as it was announced. And I think at this moment, we really need to thank and applaud the role of Cricket Australia that they've lived up to their commitment and we're all ready to see action at the Rawalpindi Cricket Stadium. Uh, Pakistan's team's training session is also underway. Security in Pakistan is very professional, has been said by the Australian skipper. Pat Cummins and a lot of these Australian players, including Usman Khwaja, who's connecting to his roots, including Manus Labushain, who's the most excited of this series that I've seen anyone. They're all having a great time uh, in Islamabad and Rawalpindi. So I think all in all, we're uh, they're going to have a cracker of a test match. Australia does look a better side, but Pakistan has got some tricks up their sleeves as well. That's what we're discussing in tonight's show. That's the lineup. Time now to introduce my guest. First of all, I've been joined by sports expert cricket. The, his forte these days, of course, we're discussing the PSL, a regular feature of PTV, and uh, we'll be talking to him in detail. Imran Jinjua is joining us. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Imran? Why, sir, I'm with. Great to have you on the show. And Thank we've you. also been joined by somebody who's probably taken part in those celebrations. So I'm expecting the celebrations to continue until the next PSL and he is truly a happy man tonight, cricket expert Rizwan Heather. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. Your smile says it all. Might not it be should. Arsenal, it but should. it is Lahore Kalam. <laughs> <laughs> so, good on you as well. I think that, like I said, they've deserved it. But we've got a report on Lahore's uh, tremendous victory. Let's take a look on that and then come back. Lahore Kalandas have been crowned as champions of Pakistan Super League Season 7 as they defeated Multan Sultans in the final by 42 runs at the iconic Gaddafi Stadium. That's all over. Here comes the squad. The celebrations begin in the middle. Unbelievable scenes here at the Gaddafi Stadium. They're all sprinting to their captain. He's being mobbed in the middle. Shaheen Chahashredi. Kalandas restricted Sultans to 138 while defending a target of 181 and claimed the first ever PSL title. As Kalandas have won the coveted PSL title, each franchise has won a PSL edition now. Shaheen Shafridi, who was impressive throughout the Pakistan Super League, achieved a tournament record with this victory and the 21-year-old became the youngest captain to lift the PSL trophy. 
Whereas Mohammad Rizwan's stunning and consistent performance earned him another rich reward when he was adjudged the player of PSL 7. Rizwan also collected the wicketkeeper of the PSL 2022 award. Lahore Kalandas, Fakhar Zaman and Shadab Khan of Islamabad United were adjudged the best batter and bowler respectively. Khushdil Shah of the Sultans was declared as the all-rounder of PSL 2022 for his 153 runs at a strike rate of 182 and 16 wicket with an economy rate of 6.9. Kalandas, Zaman Khan was named as the emerging Virgin cricketer of PSL 2022 after he grabbed 18 wickets. Well, there you have it, Lahore's spectacular tale in detail, and they've deserved it. Like I said, the celebrations need to continue until the next PSL. They now have the bragging rights. So we'll discuss that in detail. Imran, first of all, uh, the PSL you know, generally speaking, was a tournament of a huge hype. The first project of Chairman PCP Ramiz Raja as he's taken charge. The way it has ended, how do you rate the entire tournament in terms of the cricket that was played and all the technicalities involved? I think it's been a great tournament, uh, especially considering that uh, a team of Australian stretcher is coming to... I think uh, uh, the arrival of Australian full squad mm. itself added flavour to the PSL as a whole because it's continuation of, uh, like you said, that one thing is finishing on a high note and the other is finishing uh, other uh, the other is starting on a high note inshallah so i think uh, yeah it was a great tournament uh, starting from karachi lake the teams uh, picked up their momentum a uh, lot of strategies a lot of leadership traits uh, a lot of different strategies coming into play uh, but i think uh, uh, shaheen's kalandar uh, they have done it i think it all started off from the semi final uh, ahmed i think uh, the momentum that they got while beating uh, almost uh, i think Islamabad was through almost, and uh, the way David Vizay batted uh, he, and balled. So he changed the complexion of the game altogether. So when you were coming up with that kind of a momentum, um, law of averages or no law of averages, uh, 10 out of 11 for uh, Multan. Mm -hmm. But I think they, they uh, I, I still feel that they did not cover their ends well when it, came to, when it comes to uh, David Vizay and uh, uh, Mohammad, Mohammad Afiz. The, the, because uh, I've been saying it all throughout. I think uh, you will agree with me that it was all about the middle overs in this PSL and otherwise in T20. It always is in cricket. Always is. Yes. No, but in T20 mm -hmm. especially because, of course, the playoff matters. That's why you have uh, Multan has got the biggest firepower and they won all those matches because of mm -hmm. their first uh, performances in their first six overs or the power play and their batting su uh, supremacy. But uh, yesterday, I think uh, there was another factor which we've been saying it for all along that Multan bowling was a depleted one. Uh, Dhani, uh, yes, came back a bit in, uh, in, in the match against Islamabad Islam, United. Yeah. But yesterday also, he, he was not there, which, which when you see the likes of Shaheen and uh, Rauf and uh, Zaman Khan, the way they performed uh, in their bowling. So uh, collectively, I think uh, um, they, 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 were, uh, they were not there, Multan, um, as I see it, because they were a little overconfident. And, and hats off to uh, Shaheen, the way he, he has led the team all throughout the tournament. They peaked at the right time. And, uh, and the whole team backing uh, Shaheen. So uh, that's great news for uh, PSL, that's great news for Lahore, mm -hmm. that in the first five uh, PSL uh, uh, series, in, out of seven, the f five times they couldn't qualify for the playoffs and uh, got, got the runner-up uh, tag in 2020 and now finally winning it uh, after seven years. It's, it's a great I achievement. Think finally, finally is the word. But you know, put everything aside, first of all, Rizwan, how does it feel to wait seven years for this moment? Yay! <laughs> you know, end of the day, uh, it was one of the best tournaments mm. ever. Not because Lahore won, but because the games were competitive. Mm. You know, in PSL seven, uh, they were uh, in PSL five. There were great games, but the dew was a factor. Mm. You know, the teams chasing uh, were winning games left, right, and center. But things changed time, in Lahore. Things changed in mm. Lahore. Even uh, even uh, Multan, you know, uh, changed that in in Karachi as well. And the, they won uh, mm. two games, uh, defending uh, the totals, and. Uh, but the amazing thing for Lahore was uh, in the first qualifier and, and the final that they came from behind. You know, they lost, uh, they were two for seven in, in three overs in, uh, versus Islamabad and they lost four quick wickets mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, in, the, in the final. And Fakhar Zaman, who has been a stalwart, you know, for Lahore, uh, failed in both the innings. But the team, they played as a team. You know, Abdullah Shafiq in the, mm. in the first game and then uh, Hafiz and, and David Wiese was a major factor. You know, when, once you get 100 and, 103 runs in 15 overs and then in the last five overs you get 70 runs, 77 him runs, yeah. him and Brooke. I mean, 28 in eight balls in two consecutive games, mm. it's just, you <laughs> know. Remarkable. And, and the most important thing is, 
that the level of competition has been so high that somebody like Tim David mm. from Multan has is now being considered for Australia. So that just shows that you know Australians, the big bashers, uh, the, all these teams are taking PSL very very seriously because they think this is a platform where the games are competitive and if somebody shows his talent, then you know for somebody like Tim David who's played all his life in Singapore, got his first chance in PSL last mm. year and has impressed so much that Australia is considering him. You know that's. That just shows the level of PSL. That speaks volumes of how much the tournament has grown over the past seven years. So obviously that is truly a big factor. But uh, first of all, if I analyze the game, on the toss, Shine won the toss elected to bat first. When it was asked from Rizwan what he wanted to do, he also wanted to bat first. Do you think maybe that first blow was there on the toss? It, it, was, it was the final to take, you know. Mm. So I think both were cautious. Um, they, have the, they, they already had played three games. Uh, Multan winning two out of uh, the three games, so I think ev everything was there. But but still, uh, you know the f the finale has has its own uh, you know uh, things to look at. So I think uh, everyone wanted to play to their strength. Mm. Uh, it it was always in this this tournament was always about uh, Multan's batting supremacy versus uh, Shaheen's and and uh, Lahore's bowling supremacy. So I think, but in the in the in the middle, I think that, like I said earlier, also I think there, there was some some planning that I f I find uh, lacking in in Multan when it comes to the power hitters. When you've already seen David, David Wiese, the, what he was doing, there was no plan even yesterday mm. from any bowler, you know. And Mult and 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 of all the leaders, Rizwan has been the maverick leader. He's been the best captain. That's why he's the captain of the final team also. That he knows the tricks of the trade, you know, when to change the situation of the game. Yesterday, uh, I think you also would agree with me that he was found lacking sometimes when it comes to changing the momentum of the game or changing the scenario of the game. So, uh, and, and Hafiz also. I think um, Hafiz uh, has been a great servant of, uh, uh, of Pakistan cricket for a long time and I think what, what, a, what a great uh, ending to his international career or, or a domestic career. He's already announced his uh, retirement. But uh, the way he performed, and especially after coming back, uh, coming after the criticism that he had in, in the semi-final against Islamabad United. So I think these were the two. Tactically, I think uh, you know it was more of uh, it was more tactical. Uh, you know, uh, Multan lacking tactically against the the, the the shining. The eagle has landed. You know, it, <laughs> the eagle has landed. Truly. I think that the way Shaheen and Rauf, uh, it was there, and and Akif Javed clearly said he was he was he was suffering from COVID. He was not there with with the team. And I think they have presented the trophy to the two, two yeah. because these are the two ballers who have finally uh, done it uh, for for Lahore. They have truly changed the dynamics of the game and Lahore itself as well. But I I agree. I think tactically uh, the game was there uh, for Lahore uh, much more than it was there for Multan Sultans, who clearly looked disoriented after they lost Rizwan and Shan Masood, who had given them a start, of course. And uh, we do look that that's how the dynamics of the game change. Uh, but. Certain things to mention here, uh, Rizwan. First of all, Shanawaz Dhani has not been that impressive in the tournament. Was there, of course, against Islamabad, made a difference by bowling a bit of quick deliveries. But yesterday, if you see even Rizwan throughout the tournament, he's been trying to hide Dhani at, at where place where he can bowl him. So probably the best position to bowl him yesterday could have been when they lost three early wickets. Uh, could have been, but I think Dhani uh, and some of the youngsters who've been, uh, you know, they're too overconfident and, mm. you know, I, I like the celebration of Dahani going all around the world, but he does it too much. Mm. You know, you should concentrate on your bowling. Uh, you should improve as a bowler. You're 23 yeah. years old. I Since mean, you, last year till now. Till now, there hasn't been much improvement. You know, he, he was the, uh, the difference like Zaman Khan was mm. this year. And uh, if you don't improve, you're, you're going to get caught. You know, sports is an, is an area where you, you play in the field. And if you can't deliver, you know, people find out your weaknesses. And that's what happened to Shajil because, you know, everyone knows he's got three shots and, you know, <laughs> you start bowling to him in a certain way and he gets out. So you have to constantly improve yourself, you know, because the other people are also watching you, other teams, the coaches, every, like Yasser Shah in test mm. matches, you know, he's such a brilliant start, 200 wickets in, in four, uh, 36 odd games and suddenly he can't, you know, get a wicket because everyone has worked him out. So you have to constantly keep improving and, you know, you have to practice. Mm -hmm. But it's just not just show business all, you know, you go and oh, half puff and all that. But talk about improving, you have a man who's not performed the entire tournament and last night you made him perform. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Mohamed Hafiz, you know, <laughs> he, he posted a, a, a tweet as well where he said that the Tiger is still alive. So he's really taken this seriously. I think he's answered to his critics well. But that was the difference. I think I agree with Imran when he says that there was no plan 
against a fees and David Weezy, but that will be that. But of course, you've got to discuss a lot of things for Lahore Kalandas. I mean, let's just move back a bit to the drafting even, the picks that they were making. I know it was a huge blow, they couldn't get Tim David, but at the end, they kept their squad reliable and they believed in the players that they had. Exactly. I mean, uh, we've touched, touched that um, earlier also that uh, the development program of Lahore Kalandas has been one of the prolific ones. Along with Islamabad United, uh, they, they, they see things very analytically. They prepare uh, very well. Mm -hmm. And I think it was all about process, uh, uh, regardless of that it has taken them seven years. But uh, it has finally paid off when it mattered, you know, uh, playing in front of their home crowd and everything. Uh, quickly, um, I would like to touch upon exactly that in last two matches, Ahmed, uh, the pitches, uh, behavior of the pitches changed. And, and, and uh, generally, as you know, the weather was improving. We were going more towards the summers, mm -hmm. but suddenly with the sudden, uh, you know, cool wave coming in. So I think it was all about, it was not, never a total, like, like you, you saw that uh, chasing 160 odd, 170 odd was a difficult one uh, anyway, you know, and especially against the, the bowling likes of Shaheen, uh, Rauf, uh, Zaman Khan, and even without Rashid, they, they had all the bowling uh, strength to upset anyone, uh, especially in their uh, home, home uh, ground. So uh, I think uh, the, the pitches were not read properly also, uh, and especially by Multan, because they had already seen what David Wiese did. So I think it, uh, it was always a 150 odd was also a very difficult one to chase because you're losing a final with, with, with the margin of 42 runs. This shows what exactly, how, how, how far Shaheen Afridi, Afridi has come, not just in his bowling, but his overall leadership brand. And I think it's going to grow from strength to strength. And as a captain. And as a captain. That's what I'm saying. The leadership captaincy. Mm -hmm. It's going to go strength to strength. And I think this is going to give a lot of strength to, to Babar as a captain internationally. Because mm -hmm. now you have Mohammad Rizwan, uh, who has shown his skills uh, you know, as, as a leader. And, and the way he takes uh, the whole team along. Uh, he's been the mainstay with Babar in the last uh, you know, one year also. We've touched that earlier also. So I think Shaheen is there. You have Shadav. What a maverick captain he's been. Uh, and and, and uh, so, so, so all, all along, I think the whole, the whole Pakistan team is going to benefit out of this championship, which, which is the biggest news coming in. Um, yes, we have touched upon, uh, you know, the lack of spin, spin options. Mm. Um, uh, uh, we, we have said that Hassan Ali and Asif Ali, they didn't perform uh, especially. So they were a big disappointment. They were, question marks, they were big disappointments. But uh, there, there is another find that I think we should touch upon is, is uh, the new wicketkeeper, batsman, mm. that Zalmis have produced. Mohammed Aris. Yeah, mm. Mohammed Aris and, and Ramiz Raja and the chairman PCB. And I think we all uh, now term him as the find of the tournament. You know, he couldn't perform in the last, you know, the, uh, on the last mm. note. But the way he performed in the last few matches shows exactly that he, he's, he's, he's another one in Truly, the making when it yeah. comes to the way Rizwan has performed Absolutely. I think to groom them, we found some good talent when we talk about the youngsters there. Uh, talking about Lahore's strengths right now, and we also saw that in the uh, eliminator as well, where they made the difference against Islamabad was that last over by Vakas Maksud, where David Wiese absolutely annihilated his bowling. He did it last night as well. I know Brooks was there, but that last over really made a difference and the over before that as well. So give the man an underpass now. I think that's what's well, been said. A Wheezy underpass, you mm -hmm. know, we've already tweeted that and uh, it should be. Now, it's all about having the right people at the right place. Mm. And, uh, you know, Wheezy did his job. He didn't score 200 runs at the tournament, but, you know, he scored when it mattered. Mm. And uh, they had, uh, the, I think the main uh, advantage for Lahore and Multan was that the core of the team stayed together. You know, the international overseas players were there from the beginning mm. till the end. Except for Rashid, which we thought was a big... Which we thought was a big, but they had adequate backups. You know, mm. uh, Fawad was there, Samit was there. M maybe not in the same class, but they were good enough. And uh, so had Multan. You know, at end of the day, one team had to lose and they both played well. But if you see how Islamabad got decimated in the, in the mm. you know, when everyone left. Uh, Zalmi were at one time playing only one player who was Azai. And even, you know, we all know that where he's from. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is, I think the center of gravity in Pakistan cricket is changing. You know, in the 50s and 60s, it was all Karachi and Lahore. But now, I think it's basically uh, KP. Mm -hmm. uh, because so many players are coming in from KP uh, in, in all the teams. I think they've got more players from KP now in, in the PSL than, than Punjab or, uh, or Sindh. And KP is now the uh, providing breeding ground yes. for two national teams. Mm. Afghanistan and Pakistan, mm. you know, that's, that's very, very... That's remarkable, truly. With the dynamics of the game, we do talk about this. And obviously, the region of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa has enjoyed so much success. They've won 
most of the domestic tournaments in Pakistan, uh, you know, they've aced everything when you talk about there on the domestic level, which is your prime form of cricket at the domestic level. And then, of course, in the PSL, we've seen some good enough names as well. But obviously, the awards were there uh, to be grabbed as well. Uh, we will talk about them as well. Fakhar Zaman, the batter of the tournament, Shadab got the bowler. Then all-rounder and best fielder went to Khushdil Shah, best wicketkeeper were Rizwan. And then, of course, we do have the final of the tournament that was the emerging player that went to Zaman Khan. But Fakhar Zaman particularly, as a player, how much improved is he technically now? I'm delighted with it. Mm -hmm. I'm delighted with the, this HBL. He has, he has shown that after a few scintillating innings at the international level, uh, especially against India, mm -hmm. I think uh, he, he was very clear, he was very focused. Uh, he, had, he had prepared himself and this is what you expect out of a, you know, players of international caliber like Baba, like Rizwan. So Fakhar had clearly said that he wanted to be the best batsman and mm -hmm. he's proven that. And performing consistently, I mean, uh, 50 after 50, mm -hmm. match after match. So I think uh, apart from Shaheen uh, and, and a few other players and the overall team, I think he has a lion's share in, in, in uh, so, you know, the, the way Lahore has crossed the line, it's, it's primarily because of Fakhar, you know, that when the whole team was not performing, Fakhar was always performing. So, I think uh, Zaman Khan is another one, uh, Ahmed, I think uh, what a great find he is. And I think if he's groomed properly, he gets the, uh, you know, um, I, I just wish and hope that what Dhani has done wrongly, you know, uh, the other players don't follow that. You know, even if you're not playing internationally, mm -hmm. we have covered that earlier also, that Dhani uh, got selected, uh, played, played a bit, uh, but he was not there with the team, uh, you know, to play regularly. Now it was his tournament to come back and prove that he was not just a one tournament sensation, you know, and, and he did prove, uh, you know, came back. But I think Dhani, Dhani will improve with time. I think he has all what it takes. And, um, but don't rush the process. I yeah, let's not rush yeah. the process. And I think let's take it, uh, you know, step by step. Mm. And um, uh, but I think overall, overall HBL uh, PSL seven has been a great success. Huge success uh, indeed. Yeah. Indeed, it's a huge success. There's one final thoughts. Uh, the celebration, like I said, should be there until the next PSL. But two particular points about Fakhar Zaman and Shadab, how much they've improved because that's good for Pakistan cricket. Uh, it is because Fakhar, I think, has um, uh, the problem with Fakhar was he was he was very talented. He's mm -hmm. always been, you know. But now he's, uh, we, you know, when he got into a groove, he could just, you know, could, he could not change gears in the beginning. He would get into a move and start hitting everything round and round. Now he is, you know, he can change gears, and he showed that in the in one of the games, in a, in a lot of games, mm -hmm. where he started off slowly and then picked it up and then hit three sixes in a row. So that's adaptability. Mm -hmm. That's that's the improvement that I've seen in Fakhar, which was lacking. And uh, that's a good factor for Pakistan. I think he should be uh, considered for test matches as well in the long run because mm -hmm. he played one test, got about 90 odd runs yeah. and uh, was never selected again because of his, you know, dynamics as a T20 and well, a, the amount and a power of players hitter. coming up on the opening department. I doubt there's a place <laughs> left for Fakhar. But Shadab finally. Shadab again has shown considerable leadership ability. I mm -hmm. think the three best captains were Shadab. Uh, Rizwan, and Rizwan and Shaheen because of the fact that they, uh, you know, treated the players well. They gave them confidence. They were not hiding their emerging players. That's the best thing about Zaman as well because every other team was, you know, Haris was being hidden, uh, Yasir Khan was being hidden. But, mm. you know, uh, they played with confidence. They played without fear. And, you know, you need leaders as uh, Imran was saying. Uh, you need, you, you're going to have a captain in the test match on one day mm. side, but you, you're going to need two, three other leaders as well who, you know, buck up the team yeah. and, you we know, keep a look up, up to him. Yeah. And that's where uh, Shadab comes in as a one day and T20 player, Very true. of course. Very I, true. I, I'm yes. a quick, quick thing. Yes. Uh, I think we need to also need to encourage um, uh, leagues like uh, Kashmir Premier League. Zaman Khan is a find mm. of uh, uh, Kashmir Premier League. So mm. I think the more domestic tournaments and more leagues are going to come in, the more support will come in the cricket. Mm. I think it's going to, you know, add into what... Uh, uh, he was also saying that more players coming out of KPK and, and those regions which were never there earlier. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, you know, so I think uh, PCB shall encourage uh, more tournaments uh, going in, not just the, uh, you know, the, the orthodox domestic tournaments that we've been having. Mm -hmm. So I think new tournaments shall bring in new, t new talent also. Definitely, it will. Uh, and uh, I think credit to Zaman Khan and his family as well. I still remember two years back we saw him in an academy run by an NGO in Mirpur. He lives about 20 kilometers away from Mirpur and that's where he uh, started his cricket in that academy. Even at that time when we had a chance to talk to him, he was uh, a very positive find, very great mind. And uh, then obviously made his may, uh, way up to uh, KPL and then emerging on the scene. Truly great find for Pakistan. But on this note, I think uh, let's take a look at our segment recap. But at the end, I think it will always be congratulations to Lahore Kalandas and all the Lahore fans out there. And congratulations to the PCB and everybody involved, including our law enforcement agencies, local governments as well, and the people of Pakistan. In our segment recap, we of course discussed 
PSL 7. It concluded in spectacular fashion. Lahore Kalandas were crowned the champion of season 7. We had a lot of awards up for grabs as well. But Multan obviously kept their heads up high. They've been a phenomenal team in this entire tournament. Time now to move on to another big news in Pakistan. And that is that the Australian team is on a tour to Pakistan. They've arrived. They're making history. We've got a report. Let's take a look and then come back. The Australian cricket team landed at Pakistan's Islamabad International Airport for their first cricket tour in the country in 24 years amid tight security. Australia last visited Pakistan in November 1998. They will be in a high security bubble for the duration of their six-week stay. During the tour, the Aussie men will take on green shirts in three test matches, the same number of ODIs and one T20. The first match of the test series will begin on 4th of March in Rawalpindi. It will be followed by tests in Karachi and Lahore before three ODIs and a single T20 or in Rawalpindi. Vice Captain Steve Smith, Islamabad born Usman Khwaja, and spinners Ashton Agar and Mitchell Swepson all shared their excitement for the three test campaign that begins on Friday. There you have it. Uh, all you need to know about the visiting Australian team that is on a tour to Pakistan. It's a complete tour. First of all, a lot of credit to the uh, Cricket Australia and uh, there's, uh, they've got a players' union as well, to them as well, everybody involved. Their captain, Pat Cummins, have been very positive about the tour. Some of their players have also been very positive about this tour indeed. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great to see that the Australian team is on a tour to Pakistan. Of course, you've got visuals of PSL right now on your screens. But I think that Lahore victory will keep on uh, running throughout, like I said, until the next PSL, we'll keep on celebrating the victory of Lahore Kalandas. But we're talking about the Australian team on a tour to Pakistan. And uh, of course, I'd request my team if we can change those visuals on your screens right now. We can obviously talk about that. And, uh, you know, great to see that there's so much hype about that. And uh, of course, uh, the players involved, the players from Pakistan, the uh, governments of both these countries, the cricket boards, everybody has played a remarkable role in this. Uh, the great thing is, and obviously it's uh, great news, but a bit of disappointment for those of you who couldn't get their hands on ticket. Uh, tickets that for the first test match for the first three days tickets have been sold out so you still have the fourth and fifth day remaining get your hands on the tickets as soon as you can because i think it's going to be a full house at the rawalpindi cricket stadium so uh rizwan uh psl done lahor kalandas winning and now to australia that's that's great it's back to the real thing mm. you know uh, test cricket is the game uh, that's where cricket started and uh, it's the real test uh, Australia coming back is a w very, very welcome sign because they're one of the icons of uh, international cricket. You know, the team to beat is Australia, mm. especially in Test match cricket because they've got the greatest record overall, followed by England, India and, you know, all the other teams. But uh, Australia coming after 24 years is historic. Uh, and I think they've got a very, very strong team. Now, you know, I was hoping, <laughs> you know, some people would miss out. But uh, uh, man on man, I think they're a very, very strong team. It'll be... Until and unless we make those sort of wickets where, you know, it's just turned square, mm -hmm. uh, I think Australia is going to nick it as well. De definitely. Imran, this is a very important point that the dynamics of cricket have changed to an extent now where you cannot say that, okay, certain conditions will trouble certain players. They're going to be prepared for that because even if you make a slow spin track, we saw the preparations of Manus Labushi in a couple of videos coming in. This is an Australian side that can surely beat Pakistan right now. They're, they're coming with uh, with the drubbing of England. Yeah. You know? So England England is is, is a no bunny with the, mm. you know the way they they've been performing in the last five years. So but but I think um, with when it comes to Pakistan, I think uh, you, you were saying about PSL. I think Australians have been here for mm. quick, for for a few days. They have watched what how Pakistanis get rejuvenated. You know. <laughs> so I think I think uh, you know the whole uh, all the players who are playing. And apart from that, uh, there is only um, Mr. Klan Mushtaq and Mohammad Yusuf. They already. Uh, they have held the first session with the players who were there. Babar has also joined. Azhar Ali is joining for today's session also. So I think I think um, it's it's all uh, going to be great when it comes to uh, like like Rizwan was also saying. Of course, this is one of the strongest teams that you see. Uh, this is one of the strongest bowling side I think I have seen uh, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, baller to baller, strength to strength, uh, bench strength. Everything is there. They they have a leggy. You know everything is there. But. I think uh, it's it's uh, after 24 years uh, the cricket has come to Pakistan. Uh, we we are coming back. You know, it's uh, the team is going to play uh, with the back of what they have achieved in uh, HBL PSL seven. So I think it's going to, going to be very interesting uh, uh, series. Of course, Rahul Pindi first starting from the first match. I think traditionally everyone knows that it uh, it always favors the uh, fast bowlers. But I think uh, as I said to you earlier that uh, the weather situation uh, is going to be you know is going to play a role. I think Siklan Mushtaq and uh, 
uh, Yusuf has to really read the pitch well and play the right combination against this side, which has absolutely no weakness in them, you know, uh, starting from first till 11. So um, it's going to be an important toss. Uh, so th th there's a lot on, on the table when it comes to from the team selection yeah. to toss and, and how the pindi pitch will play. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be a little, little, uh, you know, a slower. A lot slower. Uh, That's a lot what we're slower. hearing from all yeah, but, but, but I think they, they still have a few days uh, mm. in there because th there has to be a surprise. You're playing, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a home, home series. So I think uh, you have to uh, outsmart, uh, mm. you know, the Australians. Well, I think that's, that's going to be really difficult to outsmart the Australians. But you never know. With Pakistan cricket, there's always that element where they can, uh, you know, uh, click in those moments where they can change the game. But, you know, uh, I heard the Australian players talk about this factor as well, that uh, they were looking forward to inspire a whole new generation uh, in Pakistan that has never seen Australia play in the country. I mean, for Mitchell Stark, Steve Smith... David Warner, Nathan Lyon, uh, Pat Cummins himself, Manus Labishin, all of these guys, when you s see youngsters and a generation who will see them playing in Rawal Pindi Cricket Stadium, is something you don't see every day. How will they inspire us? Hmm. You know, the best way to inspire us is by losing 3 0 and <laughs> going back home. But it's, it is test cricket. Hmm. You know, we haven't got an opening uh, partnership at the moment. Abdullah Shafiq has just played one test match. Abid Ali was playing a few games. Mm. He's got, you know, got some Shan medical back. problems. Yeah. Shan has done really well in the PSL, but that's a different ball game mm. when you compare to T20 to, you know, test matches. Azhar Ali, I'm not too sure how he's going to fare. Babar still, you know, has uh, a lot to achieve. You know, we don't want one innings from Babar. We, it's a three-test series. Mm. That's the quality of test cricket. That's for him coming on that Exactly. PSL. We need we need a couple of batsmen to get about 400, 500 runs in the series, not just, you know, one innings. We need a couple of bowlers to get 15 to 18 wickets in the three-test series. Otherwise, you know, Pat Cummins, when you're facing him, and Mitchell Stark, they're, they're a different set of, uh, you know, we've been playing Bangladesh and West Indies. I think if they play well, uh, I... I think weather is going to be a factor, like Imran said, in the first test match because of the light. Light is also a factor, you know, mm. in Pindi because the days are short and uh, with lights it's a bit difficult and they usually don't have play. But Karachi is going to be a different ball game. The ball swings after T. I think we don't have a chance. <laughs> uh, one Karachi. on one. Yes. <laughs> Lahore is going to be slow, takes mm. a bit of turn. So uh, we might have a chance, but otherwise I think because of the weather, one match is going to get drawn. It's either going to be 1 0 to Australia or maybe even possibly 2 0. You're giving us a draw. I mm. am because of the weather. <laughs> You'd like to add to that. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, our, our test bowlers, uh, mm. especially the spinners, uh, they're coming fresh. Mm. Uh, so th that's one positive for uh, for the first match. You've got a negative on the fast bowling side. Hassan Ali, bad form, Fahim Ashraf out. Shine is the only one who's leading. But Rauf is also there. So yeah. are you relying on Rauf to be a test bowler? Of course. Mm. I mean, he's there uh, He's there in the reckoning. The way he has performed in the finals, he has shown w w not just what... what the title means to him. He's there for the international cricket. And remember, he's, he's playing a, against a side who, uh, who helped him in becoming what he is today. Mm -hmm. he's, he's played in, 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 in Down team. Under for, yeah. for quite some time and he's performed so well. He knows a lot of them. Mm -hmm. you know, so apart from Siklan and, and Yusuf telling uh, you know, some of the players that what exactly they have to, you know, the new Aussie side have to offer, I think Asad Rauf can help also, help mm -hmm. a bit. In terms of Harish Rauf. Yes. Harish Rauf can help a bit in mm. terms of, you know, that, uh, you know, the, how uh, Aussie team uh, goes along. Uh, but coming back to it, I think the Pakistan team, as usual, will pick up the pace with, uh, not from the first match. <laughs> you know, what we want is that, uh, you know, team settles in because mm. uh, PSL, uh, change of format. But the ballers are fresh. Uh, how about we may be missing a bus, you know. We, we discussed early when, when the teams were announced. Uh, I'm sure he is not uh, performing the way he was supposed to perform with, with his fitness level and everything. Otherwise, it is a sure thing for what he has done in the last five years mm -hmm. for Pakistan cricket. But um, it's going to be an interesting match uh, starting off. Right. But I think as the series will go on, Pakistan mm -hmm. team will get better in terms of their team selection, mm -hmm. uh, performing and gelling in the roles. And I, I think if, if uh, Pakistan can draw the series, because the last time that they were here, Australia won 1-0. And, and there was a clean sweep in one day. Mm. So I think, uh, let's see that how, how, how the Pakistan shines now perform. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts, Rizwan? 2-0. Two 2-0, nil. Two nil. <laughs> he's, he's sticking to that. 2 nil is giving us a draw. But thank you so much, Rizwan and Imran, gentlemen, for being on the show. Great having you. And of course, before we go, let's take a look at our segment recap.
because we were discussing the Australian team that is on a tour to Pakistan. The first test match begins at the Rawalpindi Cricket Stadium on Friday and it's going to be the 4th of March when this test match starts. Obviously, we move on to the next test match at Karachi on the 12th and then, of course, move on to Lahore and then the limited over series back in Rawalpindi as well. Great series. Pakistan team uh, is going through extensive uh, training sessions as well. We saw a couple of videos coming in with Babar Azam, Fawad Alam, the spinners as well bowling. So, a lot to offer, but all in all, it's history in the making, but a great series that is up for offer. That's all we have time for, for me and the entire team. It's goodbye for now.